Hey, what is going on you guys? Oh man, we got the RC cars out. It's awesome. Today I'm going to a spot, um, a good spot that I used to go to for like fishing and stuff. And um, I'm going to take him to where we go fishing. I said to him, I'll show you this spot. I'm just going to take him down the main road. I'm not actually going to take him to the fishing spot because uh, it's pretty difficult trying to get there on a bike. Uh, push bike maybe, dirt bike yes, road bike probably not. Let's just say it'd be a bit fun uh, trying to get there on the road bike. Now I haven't been there on the bike, it is actually quite a nice ride there so I said to him we'll do this because obviously once it comes into winter he's pulling his bike off the road so when he pulls his bike off the road we'll um we'll have to do some other stuff. I'll still continue riding but we're gonna have to do some other stuff as well so fishing may be one of those and I said to him take you to this spot it's actually not too far um, to go. See hey, the one thing I love seeing is the alpine stars embroidered in my um in my mirrors that's pretty awesome man like I've always wanted an alpine stars jacket just never gone and got one like I brought alpine stars hats I brought alpine stars gloves and I like Dionese and Dionese stuff is really good uh, but Alpine Stars just fits me really well man like, I'm really happy with the fit of the Alpine Star stuff so I thought you know what we're gonna go to the Alpine Stars I checked out like so much stuff guys I looked at so many jackets I've been looking for months uh, for a good like all-around leather jacket just a jacket that I throw on can have a jumper underneath it you know if it's cool the weather put a jumper underneath it but it's a nice nice solid leather jacket you know uh, one that will last me years and it looks pretty cool and I always go for like black if I can get black on motorcycle gear I go black I know they go pick the most visible thing but I like wearing the, the dark black sort of jackets they look mint and it's got like the white white flex on it it's got the like uh reflectors on it as well the silver reflectors it's actually the alpine stars gpr jacket That dude's wood-fired pizza, man, is, oh my god, it's delicious, dude. I went there one day, um, I was going up the farm with a couple of blokes, and I, I'm like, yeah, I'll fucking go in there. We stopped in there, had something to eat, and I'm like, heel to the yeah, yeah. HSV behind us, he wants to play. It's something about the HSVs, they always want to play. They have their souped-up car, and they want to play. And a few of the SS guys, P platers like having a bit of a go as well, and they're six cylinder Commodores. Uh, the spot that I'm actually taking to taking him to is just the main spot. Everyone goes there. Like if you follow the road, you end up there. Where we actually go and catch fish, like some nice ice fish too. Um, I'm not taking him there because we can't get there on the bike. Of course, you had to make that corner, didn't you, mate? You had to make it. You couldn't wait. So you gotta watch where he is. Um, at some stage, one day he actually mistook me. I was fucking turning, and he shot up. So I went off my nut at him, man. I lost my shit because, like, when you're on bikes, being stupid, it can turn to it turned to shit pretty quick. Why is he going so slow? I'm just trying to figure out why the fuck he was going so slow. So that was a speed camera back there, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. And when he does that shit, like, he backed right off, man. He was a fucking fair way in the, in the rear view. Unless he saw a cop or something, or he was just pissed off with the person behind him. I don't know. I have to ask him. Next set of lights. This is what you do as a biker. You pull up in the lights, and you talk to people for a few seconds, and then the lights go green, and then you forget what you're fucking talking about when you get to the next set. Uh Jewels of it all. Now, I remember to this point, because I was thinking about it last night, because it's been a while since I've come here. Uh, I remember to this point, and I remember the spot after this, but I can't remember just that tail section uh, of the trip. So, trying to remember, you know, don't you hate that when you're like, I remember this much, this much, this much, but what do I do when I get to here? 
Look, I could just straight line this. Look at that. <laughs> I sounded like they know of a guy off The Simpsons. <laughs> You can pretty much straight line all these corners, man. These are just for cars to slow down. But out here is really nice, man. Like, traveling out this way, I quite like it. The only time I've traveled out here is in the car. I've actually never been out here on the bike. Because every time I've gone out here, I'm going fishing. So, different tail lights. But it's nice out this way. I couldn't tell the old man exactly where it was because I didn't know the name or the location of the place. I couldn't remember. Oh, my God. Fucking... Ferrari F40, I think that was. Uh, oh my god, I can't believe I fucking said that. What the fuck did I say Ferrari? Ford GT fucking 40. Ferrari. Where the fuck did Ferrari come from? Road's a bit sketchy out here, but, you know, it's good to be getting around on these roads. I quite like it. It's a nice, nice relaxing ride and awesome. Awesome. I went up the uh, mountains a few weeks ago and, and it was like this. Man, it dropped, I reckon, five, six degrees by the time we got to the top. And um, I'm just like, yeah, fuck that, man. Freezing my ass off. On top of that, I was fatigued. I couldn't figure out what was wrong, wrong with me, man. Like, my corners and shit were off. And I went to go get on it, and the tires weren't hot enough. And I'm just like, what the fuck's going on with me, man? I'll tell you what, I'm going to come out here more, because this is... This is actually a really nice ride. You stay there, bruh. And that, that joint is fucking huge, man. That joint over there is massive. It's like this whole, this whole section is that fucking house. Like, look at it, dude. They're like fucking loaded, man. You gotta watch um, the pea platters because they do burnouts and shit up here. And sometimes they come up over that hill like fucking locked up sideways and shit. This feels like Isle of Man. It's like wham, bam, full tuck. <laughs> Woo! I'm flying! This is it. Nice ride out here, isn't it? I told ya. This is where a lot of the kids swim and stuff and. Oh, this is just awesome, guys. Like, when you can find spots like this, this is why you ride bikes, man. You find locations like this. So, this is why we do it, man. <laughs> 